Uh, good evening, Coach. Thank you for joining us. Um, just a reminder to everyone, please, um, you can use yourself and your publishing house when asking questions. Uh, and then, Coach, congratulations on the win. Your thoughts on the 90 minutes? Um, yeah, no, thank you, Liam. Um, yeah, obviously, uh, sitting here today, really, really proud, man. Um, I thought uh, it was a top-class performance from everybody in terms of effort, commitment, our defensive structure and organization and obviously a team like Sundowns will dominate possession and they will have their moments and they'll have their chances but I do feel that even though they dominated the possession and if you look back at the game it's not as if uh, our goalkeeper Lee Langefeld had to make you know many saves and so I was really proud of the effort of the players in terms of the way they defended um, we always knew that uh, our best chance would be on transition moments um, and you know we did create a couple of those transition moments unfortunately first half on our transition moments we just final pass or the final decision just wasn't good enough um, if you look at we had really two good breakaways um, just before they scored the goal and um, so the halftime message was you know continue keep structure the first 15 20 minutes will be key let's not um, you know lose our shape and uh, we are creating chances um, and then obviously to get the early goal in the second half um, and then again you know some perhaps some sloppy defensive play from sundowns but sometimes when you work as hard as you do you create your own luck so i think uh, today was one of those situations where um, our work ethic uh, created those opportunities for us and again um, ikram rainers if you have a player like him in your team you always have an opportunity to score goals so He's been magnificent in this Nedbank Cup so far and you know I think uh, you know he scored in every round more two or more goals so you know well done to him but I can't single any player out today I think every single player uh, in my opinion could have got none of the match uh, this evening so really proud uh, of a really good performance from from the team. Coach, um, first up as much as you were creating uh, some chances, but you were not as explosive in the second half. My question is, please coach, don't give out any details. What did you say to them in the changing room? Don't give any details, coach. <laughs> yeah, it, look, my actual message at half time was that we're doing well. Um, I thought our back four was really good. I thought a player like Mtegwa was superb first half. Um, I just felt that in transition moments, the key was just you know, not forcing the play. Sometimes we try to play the through pass when maybe going around them and over them was a better option. Um, and at the end of the day, I just reminded them the reason what we're here for. Um, the message before the game is that we need to fight for the badge of this football club. We need to fight for each other. We need to fight for our family, friends. Uh, we have to fight for our supporters of this club. And also we have to play it in a way that we want to honor Ashwin in this Nedbank Cup run. Um, and that was just a reminder that we're still in this game if you continue to play and work as hard as you are in the first half um, and we can get something back in the first 15 20 minutes then you know we have an opportunity to go on and win the game so that was basically the message uh, it was one of just you know continue what you're doing just some better decision making in certain moments I think, you know, we need to give credit also where credit is due. Um, it's not easy for a football team to be competing uh, on Champions League, having won the league, you know, quarter-final net bank, uh, ahead of a quarter-final next week and, you know, in the Champions League, I think there were 24 games unbeaten. And, you know, that pressure builds. It, it, it's not easy to sustain and win, 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 win all the time. So at some stage they were going to have some sort of blip um, and maybe lately that's 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 what they're going through but they're still a good enough team that even when they're not playing uh, as well as they can they can still get results as they've shown although they haven't won they haven't lost and um, so again tonight was sort of that situation where i think just the pressure of just always having to win football matches 
sometimes does become a bit heavy on the shoulder. Um, and all I can just, I was just jokingly tongue in cheek told uh, Coach Steve, you know, let us try and win this Nedbank, you go win Champions League, then we can all be happy. But uh, I only can wish them the best of luck uh, in, in, the, in the Champions League, uh, congratulate them on winning the league. Um, and hopefully as South Africans we can all get behind them uh, in the next coming weeks and months uh, on their journey. Coach, uh, you hinted before the game about uh, Roman's absence and the high press and both the goals kind of came from those situations. Uh, do, you like, do you like it when those kinds of things happen in a game where you, you kind of see it beforehand that it can happen? Yeah, I think, yes. Look, um, uh, from a tactical point of view, I didn't fully answer your question earlier, but yeah, the idea was to just consolidate the midfield um, with an extra midfielder in Nduli. Um, we then moved Jaden Adams wide just for work rate. Um, obviously, Devon was struggling a bit. Junior Mendieta had given his all. You know, he ran out of sort of petrol in the last 10, so that was also the other sort of thinking in bringing in uh, Antonio van Weyck. Um, I think one of the things with Sundowns from a tactical point of view is, is they really such a good team, but I feel that two centre-backs, I would rather that they have possession. Um, and we then just sort of defend it narrow, try not and allow them to play, you know, balls into uh, Allende and Miami and into Zwani. Um, and then our number 10 to just pick up McQuenna and let the centre-backs have the ball. Because as much as they, you know, are really good defenders, they, you know, with all due respect, maybe that's the one sort of area that we felt we can exploit and maybe just bounce out at the right time and to put pressure when we can. I think in the first half sometimes we were coming out too early and then they would just break our sort of press and then it created problems for us. So second half was just be more patient with our structure and the moments will occur. So yeah, um, fortunately it did, it did work this evening. Yes, Steve, um, just on the right back, you, in your team sheet you pushed it as a little bit by putting Titus at the back better if that's your doing. But um, in your thinking, was Titus contender for right back or was Jurgen's always going to play right back and can I ask you to say something about a young man who played 90 full minutes perhaps once or twice so you know but behind him but second half um, yeah it's not my doing uh, I, I, I'm not too sure I didn't see the team sheet and how it was structured um, so I think Carl was always going to play it was it was a difficult decision during the week it was either Devon plays there and we start Antonio van Weyck um, but having sort of watched the first game against them, our biggest joy came through sort of Titus and behind uh, and that sort of space. So we just felt, you know, the, if we want to win the game, we've just got to give the youngster Carl uh, an opportunity. Uh, Devon Titus made his debut here against Cape Town City at right back. Um, you know, there's an area where we don't have full cover for Dino van Rooyen. So um, Carl is a great character, hardworking kid, you know, uh, I knew that he would he would be able to give off his best and you know he should play without fear in the end of the day I've made the decision if it doesn't work out then it's on me so I just told him to go and defend well keep it simple he didn't need to get forward like we would normally do with uh, Dino um, and I thought he had a fantastic uh, debut to play 90 minutes in front of a crowd in a quarter final uh, and to have uh, applied himself the way he did was yeah really commendable we're heading to the last three questions David <coughs> on the win, obviously, and um, you mentioned Oshman and Congress earlier, and I saw after the game, the players hold up a poster, you know, in, in his memory. Did you and the team maybe say at some point, you know, an extra motivation, if you, if you need it, you know, is to go far to have this you know, very tough run, you know, for, for Oshman? Yeah, I think, you know, our first sort of full match after the, you know, the unfortunate passing of Oshman was the, the Nedbank Cup fixture here at Athlone. Uh, really good performance against Swallows. We won 3 0. Um, and that just made me believe we've, we've got a shirt in his honour in our clubhouse, um, in our meeting room with the Nedbank logo uh, and his, his number, you know, displayed with his name. Uh, and that's in our team meeting room. And I think this is a cup that we would like to, you know, go as far as we can uh, in honour of him. Um, and I think, uh, I think it's just something that the players are feeling. Um, and it would be great if we could, um, you know, but I did remind them that should things not work out, that we don't go all the way to the final, we must not, not go there, 
due to lack of effort or commitment or will and fight. So as long as they give that, I can't, uh, you know, complain. And I think we did that. Plus, um, I think we also played some really good football this evening, although albeit with limited possession. Are you crossing fingers that you play at home again with such a crowd or it doesn't matter? <laughs> no, of course we want to be at home. Um, I mean, I think we're starting to, you know, it's a cup run that we're having a good one. So I do think if we were at home in the semi-final, uh, whether we're at Donny Craven or whether we're here, I think we'll pull a big crowd. So I'm hoping for a home draw. Um, yeah, let's see what the draw holds. Is it uh, after the last game tomorrow? Coach, you, you, made, you did mention it in your first statement, but I, I mean, I think the work rate from everybody on the field today was incredibly high. Um, I think that's four last four games against Sundowns, especially, I think it's the last three number win last year, draw, I think the one loss, and this. You must be pleased just to have the guys, I mean, and it's a young team, I've been performing against clearly yeah. the best team in the game. Yeah. No, no, obviously really proud. I think the 3-0 win uh, at Tuck Stadium. Um, but they, they gave us a bit of a footballing lesson at the beginning of the season with the 3-0 win. And then obviously we had a really commendable draw against them at Donny Craven and obviously a win today. So um, I, I get a feel that this, probably when the draw was made, we didn't want to draw them. And I think of all the other teams, they may not have wanted to play us, especially away at home. Um, so yeah, to be able to do that, I think. You know, obviously with the suspensions of Van Royen and Mgaga, injury to De Jong, and for example, uh, we had 10 players of the age 22 and younger in the squad today, five started, five on the bench, two debuts, and one for Carl Jurgens, Ethan Felix on the bench. So I also think when you play a team like Sundowns, speed, intensity, energy, uh, they don't really appreciate. So um, yeah, a nice youthful squad today. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll have more players coming back. Still two important matches to come up, especially in the league. Uh, Swallows at home and Arrows at home. And we need to forget about this as quickly as possible. Tomorrow get back to zero and concentrate on two very big home uh, PSL fixtures that we need to get past. All right, thank you everybody. That concludes this evening's press conference.